Elton John is one of the most iconic names in music. He has a horde of famous friends and has his finger in lots of pies, including royalty. He received a knighthood back in 1998 and has remained friends with Diana, Princess of Wales' sons, Prince William and Harry, well after a 1997 passing in a car crash in Paris. The musician attended the brothers' weddings in 2011 and 2018, respectively, though it would appear he has more to do with the Duke of Sussex than the new Prince of Wales. This has become evident with Harry and his wife Meghan Markle's constant need to use Elton for PR or for free travel on his private jet. With Mr John completing his final tour, the Sussexes were two celebrities who wished him well. We all know by now that Meghan always has to speak first and speak the most, so it's no surprise that she was the one who started the message. Moreover, she likely doesn't spend that much time with Elton and is probably not even a month with him. She probably only wanted to do the video because A, she wanted to keep the access to the private jet, and B, because she'd be on camera, which she loves. Harry has known Elton his whole life, as he was a close friend of Diana, and he mingled with Charles too. However, the Royal Grift points out that the Prince looked uncomfortable in the video. She also said that Meghan appeared to watch the body language guy. She put her head on her husband's shoulder, which made him even more uncomfortable. According to a source, Elton fell out with Harry and Meghan, and Meghan won't be at any of the Oscar parties. It appears the real reason why Sir Elton John fell out with Hasbeen and Yoko Mono is really quite shocking. We all know Harry and Meghan love a freebie, and Elton was, as you'd expect, more than happy to lend them his private jet. Well, rumour has it, Elton, which may have been in a hangover from his paranoid drug days, has a habit of bugging his jet. The allegation is the gruesome twosome trashed him and stated they were only friendly for the PR and the air miles. In Harry's memoir, he revealed how the once close pair came to a tense disagreement while on holiday at the singer's home in France. The prince noted some of his celebrity friends, with the likes of Coldplay's Chris Martin and comedian James Corden getting a thank you at the back of Spare. However, there's no tribute to Elton who gets a number of mentions in the book, with Harry revealing details of a holiday disagreement and a song refusal. In Spare, Harry explained that Harry and Meghan went on a scooter ride with Elton's husband David Furnish and watched the boys fall in love with Archie. Harry writes that he would often catch the former Watford FC chairman studying Archie's face and knew it was because of his son's strong resemblance to Diana. The final night, however, seemed to be an alright night for fighting, according to the Duke of Sussex. Harry said that he was congratulating Elton on finishing his memoir, Me, but the atmosphere soured when the tiny dancer singer shared it was going to be serialised in the Daily Mail. In spare, Harry writes, he saw my face and he quickly looked away. Elton, how in the absolute? The Duke asked Elton why he'd chosen the newspaper, which had made his life so miserable, to which he replied that he wanted people to read it. Harry went on to describe how beads of sweat were starting to drip from his forehead in the midst of the tense exchange. He kept pushing the singer and reminded him of specific lies that had been printed, but realised that Elton had accepted a cheque for £100,000. Harry adds, He didn't have an answer, but I didn't push him. I loved him. I'll always love him. And I also didn't want to spoil the holiday.